Ooh, welcome back, Heavenlies. This is Heaven's Army reacting to the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth State of Play. I'm gonna call it a trailer. It's a 19-minute trailer, but uh, it's showing off a game that's coming out soon. Uh, so this is like Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2. So for those who don't know, I'm assuming anyone watching probably knows. So uh, I'm going to do my reaction to this video. Yes, I've already watched it, so I got a little idea what's going to happen. Um, but there's some interesting moments. I even have a question at the end of this. Maybe other people can... Uh, answer that question once we uh once we get to it but i'm just gonna let the video play straight through i'm not gonna stop in the middle like i sometimes do uh so yeah we're just gonna play it we're just gonna watch it so it's uninterrupted i may accidentally speak out loud in the middle of it but i won't stop and pause and talk about a moment that's really cool or funny i'll just let it go so let's just dive right into this video They're also number five on trending. Wow! In less than twenty-four hours, I got a million views. Well, well what done. Into this place. It was Sephiroth. PlayStation Five. What he started. Look at the graphics. Over the planet. We have to help them. You coming? Way ahead of you. Let's get to work. I will reclaim our world. Yeah, they stopped the song right there. Interesting. スクエアエニックスの北西義則です。私がシリーズプロデューサーを務めるファイナルファンタジー7のそ so, this happened last night during my Star Wars playthrough. So I saw this so when I got to do it. Bring me the black materia. The beginning of the end. The celebration of the faithful. <laughs> A watershed moment for all mankind. Hey so, kids, sorry we're late. That's that ancient building. <laughs> I feel like we're there a little early. Based upon the uh, original. So Barrett <laughs> does put on Barrett's sunglasses. Um they're gonna explain what's going on here. That's Palmer. Uh, why are you still there, Corneo is what I call him. Hey boss, your guests are here. See, I'm not too sure what's going on, but I think it's at, at the, the thing before the Golden Saucer. Is that Yojimbo? Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh. You're gonna lose, dude. You can't beat Cloud. So there you go, that one made me go... And then they played this part. I'm back now, Aaron. I'm back. I need to know when this is taking place. <laughs> we ask that you retrieve it. This is the new. Black materia. He to our oblivion. Please. It alone can liberate us from this endless dream. Live ancient? Passing through. That looks like Cisne. You. That Tifa! looks like Cisne to me. Ooh. Hey guys! They're getting some sun too, huh? Yeah. Well, Red, how do we look? Huh? <clears throat> you should get yourself a ring! <laughs> it's gotta be hiding some ginormous materia! Uh oh. Such excitement. So we're, we're they're going through a bunch of places, Cosmo Canyon. We were looks like we were below. There's Nibelheim. No. Oh man, what's what's Cloud's hometown? Go, no, it is Nibelheim, isn't it? It is. I got I was getting Gongaga, the dolphin. So 
Are we doing like... I'm seeing cards, seeing another the dancing minigame. understand you'll need a way home so when you're ready i'll be here an emissary from wutai is here song so i don't know who this is but he reacts so this goddamn blood on my swearing okay so that's dying right my daughter again? Is it like without a doubt so those we love those we fear Genova would become anyone to fool her prey don't do this but i'm no fool what are you attacking tifa hey! Not you. Here. Take it. This isn't about me, though. It's about saving the world. And you. The reunion. I'm hoping they change the, up the story just a little bit. The fact that Zack is there the makes it a little different, but I want one more thing to change. Just like, just there's one more thing I need the, it to be changed. <laughs> There you go, it's coming out soon. For those who are watching this, you know, during the real time. Final Fantasy VII Reverse, director of Hamaguchi Naoki. Rector. How did you feel about the trailer? Here is the first game. Yeah, I liked it. I like 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 it. So, we're about to leave Midgar. Because at the end of the first game, we were walking on a road. And now it looks like we're doing the escaping Midgar moment. <laughs> and it's way more actiony than the original. And Sephiroth is floating back there. I'm waiting, Cloud. In Final Fantasy VII Remake, Cloud and his companions triumph over destiny. The green and blue material? Leaving the city of Midgar behind, they step out into an unfamiliar wilderness. It is here that Final Fantasy VII Rebirth begins. So this is what made me want to do this. The stage upon which this ragtag band story unfolds is both vast and varied. The world is made up of multiple regions. It's like Final Fantasy X. All seamlessly interconnected. But it looks like it's a the grasslands open world-ish. Located due south of Midgar, this is where Cloud and the gang resume their adventure. The Junon region. Huh? We're a metropolis by I'm the same name. I'm wondering what the Chocobo's the doing that. of Shinra's military might. The Karel region, the resort town of Costa del Sol adorns like that. its northern shore, while okay. the gold saucer stands the... as a gilded oasis we above got the, the buggy. dust bowl far to the south. Hector, okay. The Gingaga region, patron of Zack by exploring his hometown, or visit what remains of the local Mako reactor. Again, the Chocos are doing crazy things. The Cosmo Canyon region. Become one with the planet as you return to Red 13's roots. Huh? The Nebel region. Nebelheim? Take a trip down memory lane with Cloud and Tifa. Yep, okay, I got it right. Or stop by Shinra Manor, where Vincent rests in peace. <laughs> yeah, so we Your got... adventure will even extend to the high seas. I don't think it's gonna be that much, is it? Like, are we uh, really? Like... There's more to do than simply walk around, however. First, let's look at World Intel. Assisting Chadley with his research will deepen his understanding of the world, allowing him to develop new materia. This research takes many forms, such as riding up on chocobos or playing with the Mooglets at their mog stools. You may also come across sanctuaries brimming with knowledge of divine. Looks like, like an anima kind of thing. Or lairs inhabited by fearsome, unique foes. Chadley will also enlist your help in researching mysterious artifacts known as proto relics. Each investigation is its own side story, featuring a colorful cast of characters. Oh, they're from the demo. Goofy's demo, right? And ferocious creatures. Are you up for the challenge? 
And once you recover all the proto relics scattered throughout the world, there's no telling what new developments might be in store. Something's gonna happen if you do it all. See, that's good. Next, let's talk about odd jobs. These quests offer a deep dive into the regions of the world and the crazy characters who inhabit them. You can go Chocobo. As a merc, Cloud will Digging. accept work from people he meets in his travels and team up with his pals <laughs> to solve their troubles. Oh, hurry again. By helping those in need, he will also strengthen the bond they between turn into him toads. and his so each one of these odd jobs this is good unique side story I'm gonna leap Some, on his head like though Johnny's so questline, borrow aspects from the original ff7 while others highlight content exclusive to rebirth so they're letting you know You'll find all sorts of jobs the world over for those who like the original and, and there's some new stuff if you leave some for later this looks story complicated won't affect your side hustle you can always go back to tie up loose ends and this freedom to experience the story how you want is one of Rebirth's greatest strengths. Ah, like what? Am I supposed to be paying attention to While two things at once? While some games are tied to world intel and odd jobs, many are not. For example, popular ones from the Gold Saucer, such as 3D Brawler, G-Bike, and Chocobo Racing are in Final Fantasy VII there, Rebirth Now we're doing, too. like, I'm seeing a bunch of games others improve upon their remake versions while still more are completely new to rebirth so i'll, I'll talk about this later because i you know me about mini games in games fleshed out some of the mini games that were featured as part of the original final fantasy 7's main scenario though this one is not in the original yeah, i highly suggest that looks interesting. card game queen's blood no matter where you are in the story, it's sure to both challenge and entertain you. Cards. Enjoy collecting all the cards and building your own unique decks. It's like the King's, uh, King's... He's planning to use the Black something card game? But I won't let that happen. In Pharmacy 15? He has to be stopped by Ecetra. And I'm the last. While mini games and map exploration are a big part of Rebirth's charm, there's more to it than just that. Rebirth provides a cinematic experience with even higher quality content and more of it than Remake. I could tell right away. Decision 4 Distance could not handle Cloud and company after they escape Midgar up through to their arrival at the Forgotten Capital. We've taken painstaking care to depict how the group bonds during their journey, one that ultimately decides Aerith's fate. Once you finish Rebirth, I'm sure you'll agree that no other game makes you feel quite this close to its characters. Not even him. Welcome back, Alex. As for the graphics, Rebirth makes full use of the PlayStation 5 and its SSD, meaning we could use much higher resolution assets than we could in Remake, and they will still load in the blink of an eye. Maintain a 60 FPS frame rate with performance mode. I might stay it on that. Oh, <laughs> dodging bullets, come on. Or prioritize 4K resolution with graphics mode. I do see the difference between graphics, Rebirth actually, but... Each character interacts with the world in their own way. So this part here Baron really sold me on the playing, doing this tonight. Yuffie swings across gaps. Tifa has her grappling gun. Grappling gun? Red can climb along walls. Full chains. Kate Sith grabs and throws items. And Aerith manipulates the life stream. Whatever challenges you face, your teammates will be ready to help you overcome them. You're repairing something? Okay. Now for the music. We, we wanted to pay respect to the original FF7's tracks. So the soundtrack sounds great. But also challenge ourselves by matching the feeling of each scene, which resulted in some truly innovative arrangements. Like, for example, the following. <laughs> I don't think Final Fantasy's ever disappointed me on the soundtrack, so... How 
is that? Great. <laughs> if you enjoyed what you heard, we recorded well over 400 new tracks for this game. So there's plenty more where that came from. You can fit 400 tracks down in the game. Thank you for choosing Bronco Cruises. Did. We sincerely hope you enjoyed your trip. Vincent's there. Your party's bonds aren't just reflected in the story, but through gameplay as well. <laughs> the choices you make throughout your adventure will this, change the way your car This is my question. Cloud. Remember yeah. that, Mark. I made that promise to you. These feelings affect who will join you on a date in a gold saucer. Something I'm sure many of you are excited about. <laughs> in oh. fact, even allies who weren't available in the original FF7 can now accompany you, provided you play your cards right. That's what I, and that right there too. What do you mean by that? The saucer is packed with many incredible sights to see and things to do. So your outing there will no doubt be a highlight of the game. You're going on a date with Tifa, or is Already this the one have that was... someone who you'd like to go with? You despair it, right? <laughs> well, we hope they feel the same way too. <laughs> no, he doesn't feel that way. So I'll, I'll mention the joke later on for those who know of the original. Your companions will share a bond, not only with Cloud, but with each other as well. Your party level, a numerical expression of this bond, will increase as you overcome challenges. So Aerith putting on Barrett's sunglasses, that was a combo party attack. The higher this level, the more skills will become available in your character's folios, a mechanic new to rebirth. So that means we're back to level one. By unlocking the skills etched in these tones, your characters will grow stronger and learn new synergy commands. Part of what makes Rebirth's combat so fun is all the different character combinations. They seem to be moving faster too. Switch up your team to fit the situation, or even your mood. Every possible party combination has its own unique synergy commands. So once you find characters that work for you, focus on yeah, taking just your use Tifa to destroy the world. Combat needs. <laughs> Didn't and I just use Tifa to win? To experiment. You can reset your folios at any time. They seem to have gone above and beyond with the party synergy, flashy, Kingdom Heartsy stuff. Disposal. Remake's satisfying hybrid of action combat and strategic planning has been made Ooh, even more you, dynamic you piece, that's and not good. engaging. We can't wait for you to experience all this oh, and more in Final Fantasy on the VII Buster Sword. Rebirth on PlayStation 5. So yeah, that looks it, it looks fun. It looks fun, right? If you've got Kingdom Hearts style of combat, it's, it's pretty fun combat. It's entertaining to watch. And the announcement. ファイナルファンタジー <laughs> Heavens, are you, uh, are you planning on doing the, the demo? Absolutely yes, after this. Right after this. What's happening? <laughs> that thing, the, the, the guy, the, the leader of, uh, <laughs> of Golden Saucer, it's him, right? I can't think of everyone's names because it's been so long. Um, they're just showing off the controller works. <laughs> Digital loading?
Not too sure why she's singing in her flower. No one else is allowed to walk on there, but she is. But what did Chadley do there? It's clearly Chadley did something with something. This song makes me think that they didn't change what I really want to change, so I'm a little nervous on that part, but whatever. We've already gone through it in the original, so if it happens again... Um, okay, I could just close it at this, I hope. Yeah, I can, cool. Um, awesome, that worked right That worked right away, my bad. So, I, I have the demo up. I didn't want to leave the game running. Um, we'll... I delete you. Well, all of Google, there you go. done. So yes, I, I tried so hard not to stop there, but again, looks funny. There's some funny moments. We're going, it looks like it's an op more open-ish world than Medgar was. Medgar, you were just stuck in Midgar for way too long. The original, you're just in and out in how many, how many hours? So yeah, like I was wondering if we we're just gonna be stuck in uh, Dunan, uh the whole time. Cause I'm like, that's the next big event, right? And, and no, uh, they, they've turned it around. They literally have it where you could finally walk around in the world and go to at least a few places uh, that you could go in the original, right? There was, you were able to leave. Uh, I think they've removed the fort. I, I forgot the name because I, I don't, I never enjoyed that mini game either, but um, yeah, the, the fort con Condor? I don't know what it's called. Anyway, that seems to be gone, but we were- I know I- we went to uh, Gongaga and the, the exploded reactor and the- 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 Costa del Sol, there you go. My br I'm trying to remember all of these names and I wasn't prepared. This happened last night and I'm like, well, I'll get the demo downloaded and I, I'll watch the video and then let's do this. <laughs> so yeah, but it seems we're going to- uh, Doing on, uh, I don't know about the ship moment, because we had to take a ship to go from one spot to the other. I didn't see that in the trailer, but Zack seems to still be alive. Which is like a, a big happy moment for me. Uh, of course, I'm happy to see Zack. If you've played before Crisis and Crisis Core, um, you've already experienced what happens. So in this remake, seeing Zack alive is, is a nice change. Um... Oh, I forgot to, like, <laughs> give everybody a warning that this video is very, very, very spoilery, but I, it's too late now. <laughs> I was so excited to get into it, I forgot to give everybody the heads up. It's too late now. You've already been spoiled. Uh, but no, uh, open world seems great. Combat looks more fun, because Fantasy VII Remake was not that fun combat, really, it wasn't. Uh, swapping to Tifa was the only thing that made it good. Um, so... <laughs> Yeah, it looks like you can just do some more stuff in combat, and now it's we got the PlayStation Five, movement. so it, I, I'm, I'm I think they stepped it all up. So good on them for the open world. And the, the chocobos flying and water, water thing. The thing I'm not, the thing I don't care about is, is the mini games, and they just said we got more mini games, yay, right? And I'm like, no, mini games are not yay. Uh, if I want to go out and play soccer, I can go outside and do that. If I want to travel a fantasy world and save it, I play a video game. Uh, <laughs> so, mini games in the game makes no sense. Uh, so, for Ray, there's more of them. Um, there's a bunch. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even play the other games that I'm trying to think of. That little football-y game where you're driving a vehicle. Whatever that game is, I've never played it seen it, but I've never played it. That's in Pharmacy 7, but Pharmacy 7 version. Yeah, anyway, and the jumping over things. You get a crown when you win. I don't, I get, I don't, I haven't played any of those games. It's, it's, I've been playing these style of games, not those style of games. So, <laughs> yeah, either way, um, I, this is making me excited for Pharmacy 7, the remake. AKA Rebirth. Uh, I'm actually excited to play Final Fantasy VII now. The, the, when it first came out and Cloud was swearing and it just changed so much of it, I was just like, eh. I'm still, I was still am, but like when I played the game, I still lost like four hours within a couple minutes. So that means clearly I enjoyed the game, whether I wasn't happy of 
route that they're taking, I still enjoyed the game, right? Because that's... So, but now I'm like, I, I definitely want to see this, and I hope all of you are excited too. That's the kind of reason why I'm showing you this. This trailer is out for you to watch. You can nitpick all the other things that you may have seen or not seen. Uh, hopefully you could go through it again and see what you missed, but yeah, uh, the, the stuff like that. Turning into the toad and doing a mini game, uh, you could get turned into a toad in the original. That's not a good status for you. It seems we have everybody in your team. We seem to get Yuffie assuming right away. Um, and we got I seen Vincent and Sid was there. Um, I mean, I don't know if they're in my team, but we've seen all the characters right away. So that's something. Um, we've seen Palmer, so that means that the Sid moment did happen. Uh, but my question was, well, there was two, right? They're like, if you've made the right choices, your teammates may join you or something. That's the one I'm like, what are you talking about? Is it in this game, if you don't go and do something, Yuffie won't join your team, like the original? Or do we have to do something in Final Fantasy VII Remake, part one of this game, and stuff will happen in the other one? Because if it's like that, what is it that we need to do? That's that's the question that like stopped me. A and the other one was, I don't think it's that important, but it was important in the original, is answering questions the correct way to whoever joins you on a date at the Golden Saucer. So in the original, you get a trophy for getting Barrett, okay? It was a funny moment to get Barrett to go on a date with you. And it, it's, it's, it's comical. Uh, and in this game, I have no idea. Um, in the Final Fantasy VII, the original, it started from the beginning of the game. Who you who you spoke to, if you gave Tifa the flower or to... Uh, I almost wanted to call her Marin. That's not her name. Why well, can't I remember her name? <laughs> Dine... Barrett... Does it start with an M? What my brain is like, dude, man, you, you at least remember Palmer in them, but you're not remembering... Uh... Well, Melina... Marlene. It's Marlene. Okay. That took way too long. I knew it was an M, okay? But my brain was like... Marin, Matilda... <laughs> there was a whole lot of other M names. And I was just like, what? Okay, but yeah, Marlene. So... If you gave the flower to Marlene, that's a plus point for Barrett. And you gotta do all the right steps in the original to get Barrett. Because it's, uh, Barrett starts off pretty low doesn't like cloud trust me uh and you gotta just do everything just right and you can't do too many things to either tifa or Aerith, which is really easy to do i'll even give you another moment in the original uh when you fall down to the sewers after Orneo drops you down there who you talk to first gets a plus point and again tifa and Aerith got a got a bunch of points already on barrett so you gotta you gotta divide up every moment between them and you just can't go with tifa tifa because tifa will totally win <laughs> or Aerith, depending on who you, who you either A, knew to go to, or if you just were drawn to her, to talk to her first. Right? So, yeah, but that was the thing that I'm like, does, it, does the things matter in the first game? Does that affect this game? Or is it whatever we're going to do in this game will affect this game? Because if you have to, like, platinum the original game to, to, to get somebody to join your team, it's not gonna happen, I don't think. I still haven't played the uh, remake and done all that stuff. I have no time. <laughs> so yeah, and if I had to make certain choices or dialogue, because there is some of those choices, they didn't do anything in the original. If I have to go through the game again, and then pick the right choices again, uh, and then hopefully that over over saves it, or if your first choices you made, that's locked in and then doesn't matter what you choose on the new game plus, then we're doomed. Uh, if you just made wrong choices. So I, I don't know. Hopefully that's more explained. Hopefully somebody figures out those questions, because those those seem to those do matter. If if you have to do something in the first game to move it over to the second game. 
And if it doesn't, then just like, what are what are we supposed to choose? Hopefully a guide would come out with that as soon as possible. But yeah, I'm looking forward to exploring a little bit more of an open world and a PlayStation 5 game that's Final Fantasy 7. So that's why I did this tonight. Oh, uh, I think Final Fantasy 7's playing in the background, isn't it? Oh, it is. My bad, I didn't even realize that, but... <laughs> yeah, I was just minding my own business. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I swapped to this because we're going to do this too, but I'm going to separate these videos. So uh, I think I said what I wanted. It looks great. Of course, Pharmacy's never let me down. Square has not let me down on music. Ever. And I, I just I, I just like their music, so <laughs> I don't know if they could. Um, happy to see Zach, but I, I hope Aerith uh, makes it out as well. Every, when I seen Charlie make turn her into a digital thing and stuff, and Zach was holding her, I, I'm just I'm as nervous as the original now. So, <laughs> yeah, um, all of that. So with that, um, oh, I'm on my wrong account, aren't I? I am. I just see the price of the of the thingy. Yeah. Anyway, it's fine. Uh, just two accounts. I got one original and one where I made, but where where I shouldn't have. <laughs> but I wanted to play this. I wanted to play on the system, so I made it where, where I was at the time, uh, traveling. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Long, weird story that I may have mentioned. Don't need to have it here. Either way, uh, I hope you enjoy the little reaction. Again, I couldn't go like, whoa, because I kind of had that last night. I, I came in with a little bit more calmer, professional. That's Aerith. It's putting on parrot sunglasses. We could get turned to toads, but now we're doing a mini game. I, I came at the, the reaction this way. <laughs> so yeah, other than I hope you're excited. I hope you didn't know this was happening. Or if you do, like, I hope you're you're pumped for this as well. I, I definitely want to play this game as soon as possible too. And I don't think anyone's ever going to ask me the hard question of <laughs> of this game or another one. I'll, I'll let you I'll let you think of it because <laughs> I'm not going to I'm not going to out myself. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, maybe my heavenlies will be a little bit more active, uh, and we'll see where that goes and where that takes me. But yeah, with that, thanks heavenlies for showing up and watching. And seriously, if you like what I'm doing, please hit those buttons. You know what they do by now. And I will see you all in the next episode. Take care.